Right. So everyone's panicking yet again. Is it a big surprise that when Bitcoin goes to anything lower than $62,000, $63,000, everyone begins panicking, thinking the bull runs over? Well, today I've got four old coins that I strongly believe will more than 15x, but I'm looking to invest for a 15x. I'm looking to get into these coins because I think that they will do really well in the bull run and are at such low prices right now. I think it's almost insulting. Now, when I say this as well, my price predictions for these coins, which I will give in this video, by the way, for them, are much, much higher. What we like to do on the No BS channel and those who are subscribed all know this by now, but we don't look for the price prediction to get out of. What you have to understand is price predictions on all these different assets are a price in which I think could go to realistically and then come straight back down, meaning we need to get out earlier. We need to get out before it's basically sellers versus sellers. We need buyers that we can obviously sell our coins to. So we want to make the case of selling at an appealing time, at least in most people's eyes. So what are the four coins? Well, let's begin with coin number one over here, Pith Network. Pith, what is it? It's an oracle. It is literally a project like Chainlink without all the tokenization aspects that Chainlink offers now designed to keep the whole entire uh, space, right? Any different blockchain network and applications all somewhat connected to the real world, not just the real world, but kind of to each other as well. Offers different price feeds to these various different applications across, I think, over 70 different blockchains right now. A lot of the stats on Pith are going like this, quite linear. They were exponential at one point, but the market slowed down. Therefore, the interest in Oracle services has therefore decreased over time as well. But again, I think that this coin is extremely undervalued. We've actually fallen down, well, to all-time highs, recent highs anyway, about a 4x. Okay, so we've got a 4x to still go. In terms of a percentage drop, well, it's just the opposite, basically. We've fallen down, what's that, 75 or 79%, which is incredible. So a 4x to go back to these levels, which I think Pith can very easily do. And if I zoom out here, this is what I'm talking about. This will actually show us the red, gray, and green zones. Now, before I continue, do not forget, if you're finding yourself enjoying this content, guys, or if you like what I say in this video, if you hold one of these four coins or you want to get your hands on some, do not forget to hit the like button because a lot of work goes into the content on this channel to make sure you have as accurate information as possible and hit that subscribe button as well, guys, because that really does help support all I do around here as well. So matter of fact, I think Pith can go to about 10 bucks. Now, Okay, I had my predictions a bit higher for this coin. A lot of the price predictions I have in my bull run cheat sheet for all of my private community members, they are likely never going to be increasing. As a matter of fact, some price predictions might decrease, but I've kept Pith pretty static at $10 for a price prediction. That's only less than a 10x away from this point over here. And it's just fortunate enough that we've been given a great chance to get into this coin literally at under 30 cents at this point, right? So the Green zone is the safe area, in my opinion. This is pretty much where we'll still have buyers when we're trying to sell. It's 35% down from the price prediction of $10 at $6.75. Now, the idea of the gray zone just above this, okay, is to give us some buffer. Obviously, if you want to be a, you know, really push your luck, right? Or maybe, again, this is all based on buyers and sellers. So maybe you want to really push the upper bounds of the green zone. You can, and that's why it's here which by the way is a 23X. So we've got plenty of room. If we look to get a 15X out of Pith, I'm not going to show you because my page needs to be refreshed, but a 15X is way back down here. Okay, so $4.30, which I think is very realistic, by the way. Needless to say, um, if you are somebody who wants to sell way up here, you still can because you'll have to have some sell levels above uh, the actual level you want to get out of. Okay, that's what the gray zone's for, a bit of a buffer. The red zone, while well, I think price can go here, it might be a highly contested area. Therefore, it's not amazing. Now, if you're asking yourself, kind of, why is Pith so cheap, right? Again, I think most coins actually from their recent highs have fallen down about 70 to 80%. A lot of these big notable ones have. But Pith had the actually great thing in this case of having a massive unlock. Okay, this unlock scared a lot of people, bringing the price down as well. Now, for those of you who got in, at the dip, we called it. We knew it was going to happen because it's not hard to read this sort of stuff and expect, you know, some of these outcomes. It was a great time of DCA. Okay, the prices have come down more than that now, but obviously we didn't know that was going to happen. So that is coin number one, the largest market cap on this list at $1 billion. I think Pith can definitely 15x from here. Next, 
what is coin number two? Well, we're going to jump down the market cap size dramatically here and go to 400 mil, which is Wormhole. Now, Wormhole is at 21 cents. I never thought Wormhole would go this low. I'm averaging at about 50 cents. And by the way, none of these coins are paying for any of these videos, right? It wouldn't make any sense for these any of these projects to pay for promo because I talk about them enough. They wouldn't want to pay me for this sort of thing, okay? But I get the reason why you might think so. So actually, Wormhole right now had a little bit of a situation like Pith, not to the same degree degree where they had a recent unlock okay this unlock here kind of scared some people happened about a day or so ago and the unlock itself wasn't actually bad i initially perceived this unlock which by the way only gave tokens to the community and launch it was about six percent of the, the total supply i believe and i actually looked into this before this video and it turns out that the community and launch is defined as tokens actually held by the wormhole foundation for future community related incentives so it's not even going to be in circulation yet and we did see some additional sell pressure for wormhole and guess what it's amazing because you know people always panic sell these events without looking into it it's retail being scared of possible the unlocks possibly causing a massive dump when again it's more than that right so this was a great time i think and right now it still is to dca non-financial advice a 20 cent wormhole we're literally at all-time lows right now and to me going back to its what i believe to be its real all-time high i think the launch shouldn't be considered here of 80 cents or so right we're a bit of 3x almost a 4x from that point in time and similar to pith if i actually look at how much we're down right now if i'm able to do that we're down about 75 percent so very common amongst many coins and i think it's a great time to look again not financial advice into wormhole what is wormhole i haven't even addressed what wormhole actually is for those of you who don't know you might think is it a galaxy is it a wormhole no okay wormhole sort of similar to pith in the solana ecosystem atmosphere rather than looking at oracle so providing data points and price fees and updating crypto based on real world things wormhole allows interactions to actually happen transactions are what they call messages complicated like multiple transactions within a single sort of message if you will to occur cross chain so it connects the crypto ecosystem together which is why i love it because this is always going to be a needed product okay and if you actually have a look at their wormhole scan I mean, look at all of the transactions and all of the money flowing to and from Wormhole from these different major layer ones. Ethereum, $300 million. It breaks up and shows you where the funds are being transferred to. Again, Wormhole really started life as a major bridge for Solana. It has a lot of uh, you know in and out flows via the Solana network, which is great because Solana is going to be a big major layer one of the bull run. Many people expect it to maybe even take over Ethereum. Doubt it. But again, there's those people out there. So we have a look and we can see how much money is being transferred on the seven day, right? We can also zoom out a bit more. But needless to say, here's the real numbers we're looking at. 1 billion all-time messages ever sent. 127,000 messages in the last 24 hours. And again, a message is defined as multiple transactions, a much more complicated transaction. So in effect, a single transaction, me sending you money might be me sending you money, then that automatically sends a message to a smart contract to do something to then unlock a certain lending pool that gives you some sort of reward. And that all happens in one single message, okay? All-time Total volume traded is $45 billion. It's insane. And there's major competitors to this. Yes, like in Layer Zero, for example, and Axelar. But Wormhole, I believe, edges them both out. Needless to say, I think they're all much of a muchness, but Wormhole seems to be one I'm attracted to because this unlock schedule, I think, believe it or not, is actually quite advantageous for Wormhole and we can get into the reasons why. So Wormhole, in my personal opinion, guys, looking at price predictions for this coin, $8 is mine. Um, again, that was static there from when it was up at around 80 cents. That was only a 10x. I still think it can get to eight bucks, but again, we're moving down 25% from the red zone. Create the buffer of 10% there. So 35% down, we get to $5.20, which is about a 27x from the current prices in the green zone. Again, we're looking for a simple 15x. So that's way down here at under $3. So do I think it'll happen? Absolutely. Again, non-financial advice of course. Coin number three today is Flux Network. Flux is a much smaller old coin than both of those at 182 million market cap. You guys who hate the low float, high supply, like you guys hate the high FDV valued coins, and I get it, right? It's definitely a narrative of the bull run now. Everyone's pushed it so much. You're going to love Flux. Flux is a proof of work blockchain. It's a layer one, of course. This is very similar to ICP, but a baby ICP. Arguably better in other aspects and worse in, in some but again, I think it's much of a much as I own this coin, of course, as well. Actually, dollar cost averaged quite a bit of money into Flux over the last few days 
because as we can see here by this green line, I actually had entered way back over here before I had the massive pump telling everyone Flux is a great buy again in the most non-financial way possible. Well, obviously it did a few multiples from there, but of course we've fallen beneath it, all right? So looking back to its recent sort of high of about $1.70, $1.80, if you will, um, it's about a 3X underneath, so a 2.5X. And if we kind of zoom out here and have a look at what that is, on the downside, again, 71%. So again, all of these coins are, I think, um, altcoin wide. Now, my price prediction might surprise you for Flux, guys. It's quite high. It's at $25. Again, we come down, find the green zone. The green zone is $6.25. That's a 31X, just under a 31X in the green zone. So many of you may have heard me say Flux can definitely, you know, 50X or more in some of my price prediction videos. I think it still can. Uh, as the market prolongs and as we begin getting longer and longer into this weird wacky part of like this stalling of the market it's actually better for us because these projects can become more mature we need to have some more of these points along the next 6 12 ideally 18 months where we kind of push stagger push and stagger and consolidate if you will that gives projects like flux who actually are quality projects proof of work all fairly mined and actually has its paws in AI and Deepin, right, via one of its, uh, you know, products here, the Flux Edge, taking all of that wasted computation from its proof of work blockchain and actually using that for things like AI and rendering, it gives all of this more room to grow. The memetic, the meme, the unique idea of all of this has time to spread, propagate, which ultimately means more people know about it, which means more money in our bank accounts, basically at the end of the day, right? So Flux makes it to this list undoubtedly. I get it. Some of you are like, these price predictions are coming out of his ass. They're not. Go check the bull run cheat sheet, join the private community, and you will see firsthand where these numbers come from. There is data and my fundamental analysis all, all built behind these numbers. I'm not one of them people who likes to just throw bombastic numbers at you. And as you can see, for a matter of fact, we like to bring those numbers down and be realistic regardless, okay? Because you should never aim for a price prediction, guys. Last but not least, we have Goldfinch. Now, Goldfinch is technically the smallest market cap on this list. I think it's a bit more than 62 million. It's about a hundred or so million dollars. But unfortunately, there's some uh, you know wrong data coming through here from coin market cap. But at $2.13, are you kidding me? $2.13 for a coin like this? I can't believe it, right? We'll look at the price predictions on this in a second. But I think Goldfinch is a perfect candidate for the new MakerDAO X BlackRock tokenization grand pre fund. They're looking to inject a billion dollars into tokenization projects like Ondo and others. And I do think that there's a good chance that possibly we have Goldfinch as one of those coins. But needless to say, guys, massive backers. These are like, it's got some of the most S tier investors I've ever seen in any coin. And not just that, it's got, uh, you know, individuals, angel investors, Bill Ackman. Okay. I don't know if you know, guys know who Bill Ackman is, but he's a hedge fund manager, multi, multi billion dollar hedge fund manager. Balaji, this guy pretty much is one of the, the, the all-time kings of crypto. And Ryan, the guy who literally created Masari. Yeah, I mean, these guys are stacked, right? They do have some more unlocks to still come, of course, notably to third parties. But I think nonetheless, there's a good chance that this project is a candidate for many different things along the line and also tokenization of real world assets. I mean, basically, it's a small ondo. It's a really tiny ondo. And I think it's a matter of time before people wake up to that fact in my personal opinion. So yes, these four coins, I believe, are at jaw-dropping prices right now. And I think if you are someone looking for a 15X, these should be on your cards. These should be four coins you're looking at. Now, again, you can buy any coin under the sun. If you're looking to fill the void in your portfolio for a Oracle project, for an interoperability project, for a proof-of-work layer one AI deep in project, or for a real-world asset tokenization, here's four great candidates. So do it do with the information is what you will. All right, I'm just here to provide my insights on those. So good luck, guys, for the bull run and good luck for the dip. I hope you all succeed very much so this uh, cycle. And if you want to maximize the possible gains in the safest way, join the private community down below. Okay, take good care. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.